Hello, Leo. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to February. Yes, thank you all so very much for tuning in. So guys, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, okay? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, also, uh, I'm keeping up with the format from last year. Last year? No, not last year. Not last year at all, actually. From this from last month there it is yes format from last month um so there are going to be two parts to this reading the first part is going to look at uh leo rising i'm going to be speaking to leo rising specifically and with that i will be using the chart um the astrology and and keep in mind that here on this channel here on divine conversations we practice true sidereal astrology not mainstream tropical or vedic so it's going to be a little bit different. You guys know me by now. If you don't, if you're new here, hi, my name is Eric. Welcome. Thanks you so much for tuning in. If you're new to true sidereal astrology, I highly recommend that you stick around and just give it a listen, see how it resonates for you. Yeah. So the first half of the reading, we're going to look to speak to Leo rising specifically. And then in the second half of the reading, we're going to get a big old um, general energy pull. The second half of the reading is non-denominational. So no matter what form of astrology you are most familiar with or what you practice it doesn't matter we're just going to be pulling some cards and getting energies and messages for the sign of leo the collective of leo for the month of february yeah so if you're not a leo rising or you're not interested in watching the leo rising section um you can skip to the second section just go ahead and check the timestamps down below um and even if you're not a leo rising though like say you're a Leo sun or Leo moon, the messages will probably resonate for you in the first half of the reading. Just keep in mind that when I'm speaking of the astrology, that is specific to Leo rising because it is your rising sign that sets the tone of your chart and sets where everything is placed, yes? If you are interested in getting a personal reading with me, I would be very happy to provide that to you. All the information can be found in the description box below. Some of the readings that I offer, as well as my email address, just go ahead and email me. Let me know you're interested in getting a reading, and I would be very happy to facilitate that for you. If you would like a view of your true sidereal chart from the system that I'm using here, I would also be very happy to provide that to you free of charge. Yeah, if you just want your chart, just let me know. Give me all of your birth information i will draw up your chart and i will send it to you but if you would like a an, an interpretation or a reading then i'm gonna have to charge for that one um i can do a sidereal reading for you or i could do a tarot reading for you or i could do a combination of both yeah again just let me know hit me up information is in the description box below as well as if you would like to get some extra content from me throughout the month check us out on patreon patreon.com slash divine conversations join the family there we have a lot of great fun there and then also you won't miss any uploads from me if i don't upload here to youtube then i'm uploading to patreon yeah all righty guys i believe that is it so Hi, Leo. Let's get into this for you. Leo rising. Okay. So, Leo. Hi. Uh, I hope you guys are well. I hope you had a your how you had a good January. You know, you had a good month, and hopefully, I'm hoping things are moving forward for you. You're moving forward um, in a good way. I really feel like Leo. Um, your energy feels really good right now there is a strong level of empowerment that is happening or that maybe has happened for you um january may have been the month for that empowerment to happen because we did have the sun pluto conjunction which i know personally and i have strong leo energy with in me right so i know personally i ever since that conjunction between the sun and pluto back in january I have just felt so strongly empowered, like not afraid to be myself, not afraid to express myself in the ways that I naturally do, um, you know, given the circumstances that I grew up with and all the conditioning that I've experienced and blah, 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 blah. I do have certain elements to me that are very loud, can be fairly explosive um, if given the right moments. And in the past, I would have been horribly horribly 
bad, terrible with myself or beating myself up about, you know, certain ways or certain forms of expression, but that's not the case for me any longer. I'm not ashamed of that. I'm not afraid of that. I'm not sorry for it. And if you don't like it and you can just start kicking rocks, okay? I mean, that's how I personally feel about it. Uh, I, I am hearing, I am hearing there is a strong, oh shoot, hold on. I forgot to light my incense. Sorry about that. I like to, um, I like to burn incense uh, that uh, applies to or is um, associated with the certain planet that I'm channeling for, for the signs. So for you, Leo, that would be the sun. And I have some juniper incense sticks here that I wanted to burn and I completely forgot to start it before I started recording, but that's okay. We've got it. Okay. But anyway, uh, Leo, I keep, I'm, I'm hearing a strong level of empowerment. Okay. And your title this month is full on expression. I feel like you've gotten to a point where you're not ashamed to be yourself any longer. You're not afraid of that. Um, some of you have potentially even healed a lot of the circumstances um, that were standing in the way of your personal self-expression and you truly being full, full on yourself, right? And I kind of want to say congratulations for that because, I mean, everybody has the right to express themselves in whatever way, shape, or form that is natural to them. And no one should ever have to feel ashamed or be put down for it. And Leo, you are the sign of expression. I mean, ain't nobody as expressive as a Leo, <laughs> right? So there have been certain circumstances I feel like you've been working through that has allowed you to heal some of the discrepancies there and now fully be yourself, full on expression. Yeah. Let's look at the chart. So what you have in front of you here is the chart for a Leo rising for the month of February of 2022. Um, so in terms of the expression that the, the full on self-expression and the sun Pluto conjunction that I feel personally has really helped you to feel that level of empowerment, that conjunction between the sun and Pluto was full on complete empowerment of the soul, of the sense of self. And for you, Leo, that happened in your native house. It happened in your fifth house, okay? Full on self-expression. Now, um, in terms of, yeah, well, I did write down here that there is no, it feels, oh goodness. I, I, okay, I shuffled it up. <laughs> I, I wrote down in my notes as I was channeling this for you, there is no holding back now not feeling ashamed of yourself or how it is you express yourself, okay? Um, yeah. I wanna, I wanna pull some energies in terms of that. I know this is a reading for February, but I really wanna kind of, I kind of wanna, in hindsight now, I kind of wanna focus on what that Sun-Pluto conjunction has been for you back in January, because that's what I feel like the energy you are carrying forward, this sense of empowerment as you move forward here. Okay. There's a sense of empowerment that you're drawing from that I really feel like happened or kicked off or started off in January with that Sun-Pluto conjunction. Um, and so I'm pulling some cards here for that. Let me switch the scene a bit. What you have here, what's come out in terms of this, you have the Five of Pentacles with the High Priestess and the Five of Wands. So this is, this is kind of a high priestess sandwich here between the five of pentacles and the five of wands. But uh, there has been, in the past, there has been an energy of kind of leaving yourself out in the cold um, in terms of not fully expressing yourself as you truly are or as you truly want to be or as you need to be. But I don't feel like you're listening to this energy any longer. The five of pentacles is an energy of like, feeling left out in the cold or be or leaving yourself out of the cold. I, I get this I get this feeling of kind of watering yourself down, you know, taking it down a few notches just to make it acceptable or to make yourself palatable by other people. And that's not and the uh, and the 5 of wands energy here is that are, is a representation of those other people. But but Leo, I don't feel like you're doing that any longer because you do have the high priestess here. I feel like not only are you listening to yourself more, but I feel like you're listening to the divine more. You're listening to spirit. You're listening to the unknown. You're listening to the higher powers that are encouraging you to be exactly who it is you are, who, exactly whoever it is you are made to be, who are you are meant to be naturally, right? 
uh, overall energy here. Yeah, uh, at the bottom of the deck here, Leo, you have the Seven of Swords. But with that, you have the Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. So there really, there's a very strong energy here for you, Leo, um, in terms of starting, starting new, starting something over here. You have the Page of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles, and then ultimately to the King of Pentacles, which is kind of speaking to this level of empowerment that you you are, you've stepped into. This Seven of Swords here at the bottom of the deck, these, this is lies. This is deception. This is cheating. This is backstabbing. These are people around you that don't necessarily want to see you succeed. There may be some energies of people standing against you in this empowerment thinking or saying things like, who the F does this person think they are? Let me take them down a few notches. That's not going to work out well for them. I do feel like with this Seven of Swords energy, however, in certain individuals have been slighting you have been trying to steal from you backstab you cheat you lie to you make you see make you out to be the villain in some cases it's not going to it's going to backfire on them but it's not going to backfire on them leo because you are you know trying to take steps to get back at them no you're just literally standing in your natural empowerment and it's very much an energy of like no no weapon forged against you shall, shall prosper and it's not for any other reason than the fact that you are standing in the truth of who you are you are allowing spirit your higher self the universe god source creator whomever it is you who you align with you're allowing your instructions your directions to come from a higher place and from and it's from that higher place then that you will be protected this is kind of a situation where it's like don't mess with with divine beings. Don't mess with the divine. Don't do it, okay? You do have the Three of Swords here. But with that, you have the Four of Wands. Yeah, so Leo, yeah, look at this. Four of Wands, King of Swords. Okay, Leo, this is excellent. This is really excellent. If there has been any sort of heartbreak that you've been dealing with, and what I just heard was this may have been the heartbreak that stood in your way of fully expressing yourself as you truly are it feels like you've healed from that you've come out the other side of that much more balanced secure stable feeling confident in yourself this is all four of wands energy but with a clear understanding of what that was and who you are and where it is you want to be going moving forward king of swords energy this right here, Leo, is why you are able to take advantage of the energies that we have been infused with, this empowerment that happened between the Sun and Pluto in January. This is the reason why you are able to take advantage of that energy and stand in the, your natural power, stand in your natural truth, and truly own who it is you are. That's really freaking excellent, Leo. I love that. Knight of Wands. Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Overall energy here. Okay. You also kind of have that with the Seven of Cups. Um, because the Seven of Cups, in some cases, may feel like a little bit of confusion. Trickery, potentially. Um, it could also just be options. So Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords energy. I feel like you're empowered, obviously. We've been saying that this whole time. But these cards are telling me that, yeah, you're empowered here. And you either know what it is that you want, Ace of Swords, and, and you're able to cut away from the confusion or cut away all the confusion, some of the lies, the, trick, the trickery, the deceit, the, the ways that certain people may try to twist things to make you out to be the villain or to make things seem other than the way they truly are. Um, so with this Ace of Swords here, you're either able to cut through the confusion, cut through the fluff, or the Seven of Cups is, is, is a multitude of options in front of you now. And now that you're standing in this sense of empowerment here, moving into February, you are able to tackle these. You're able to look at the options in front of you and weed through them, right? Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups, because you have a sense of empowerment. You know what 
direction you want to move in, you're feeling excited, you're feeling inspired, you're wanting to do the things, do the things, Leo. Absolutely do the things, Knight of Wands, yeah? Absolutely do the things. Okay, so let's get back into the chart for you here, because there's a few more things that I do want to, I do want to chat with you about and point out. Now, um, so the focus, the focus for you guys is your fifth and sixth house, at least right now. Um, the conjunction between, oops, wrong one. The conjunction between uh, Mars and Venus happens this month, right? Valentine's month. Um, and it literally, you guys, it literally happens right around Valentine's Day, February 14th. I want to say the 14th into the 15th of February is when this conjunction between Mars and Venus kicks off, starts. Um, and that's a big focal point for us, at least in the beginning of the year. You guys, if, if, all of you that have been here, you know, have been following for a while, you've been hearing me talk about this. This is a month, this is a year of union, okay? Number one, 2022 boils down to a six. Um, and so, uh, you know, and that's a number of love. But then also we have this conjunction between Mars and Venus happening, the masculine and the feminine getting together. Uh, and for you, Leo, again, that's happening in your fifth house. Your fifth house is also the house of children. Uh, your inner child, um, and if you do have children, like your own children, it could also relate to other children, you know, children around you, children that aren't necessarily yours or anything like that. But with the masculine and the feminine coming together for you, Leo, in your fifth house, there is a strong level of creative potential here. I mean, the house, the fifth house is a house of creativity anyway, right? And especially in terms of like personal self-expression, but this, I, so what I wrote down here with Mars and Venus going conjunct in your fifth house this month of February, there's strong creative potential. It may feel like you're giving birth to something at this time, the masculine and the feminine come together and they create life, right? Um, they literally make children and this is the house of your, of children. So some of you may, some of you, uh, there is a good possibility here, Leo, that some of you are gearing up for a soulmate, a lifetime partner to come into play. Literally some of you, some of you may actually be getting pregnant, um, or you might be lining up with an individual very soon, I'm hearing in the near future, in which you can, you know, start a family with. Um, but with that said, the other focal point here for you, Leo, is the sixth house. Now, the other main thing to talk about, I mean, obviously, yes, Mercury still is retrograde, but Mercury will be going direct soon, like soon into, um, into February. But okay, so, but that was more of a topic for the month of January. For February here, I, the last thing, the big focal point that I want to point out for everybody is the Sun-Saturn conjunction. And for you, Leo, that happens in your sixth house right here. Now, your sixth house is ruled by Virgo, okay? The sixth house is all about health and wellness, um, the health and wellness of yourself uh, and, all, and other people around you. Um, and what I got for you, and, and, and <clears throat> the Sun and Saturn are making a conjunction and it, that feels like a checkpoint, okay? Um, a checkpoint in terms of like Saturn wanting to check your work. Uh, I advise you guys to check out the January, I'm sorry, the February monthly collective reading titled Initiate Countdown Sequence. Um, and that in that video, it's a live stream. You'll be able to find it in the live tab of my channel here. But in that video, I explained you know, I went into detail what this Sun-Saturn conjunction means for us. So I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to go into it here. Um, but if you if you want a refresher on that or if you just didn't catch it, go ahead and watch that February collective live stream. Yeah. Again, titled Initiate Countdown Sequence. But for you, Leo, this checkpoint feels like Saturn is standing there saying, OK, so how are you empowered to... How are you empowered to have or to own a greater sense of health and wellness? And that health and, and, and a big, a strong part of that uh, maintaining a greater sense of health and wellness is allowing yourself to express yourself fully, 
taking advantage of the empowerment that happened in January and now moving forward with it to keep stronger boundaries, healthier boundaries, I'm hearing, to um, you know keep a weight loss regimen or a better diet situation, um, holding better mental health, holding better emotional health, all that kind of stuff, right? That's this checkpoint that I feel like it is for you here. You do have the hermit that's come out here. All right, independence, allowing your inner light to shine, following your own sense of fulfillment, your own sense of who it is you truly are, what it is you really want to be doing here, what it is you're meant to be doing here, what it is your soul is calling you to do here. This Sun-Saturn conjunction is even further empowering you in this sense of self wellness, okay? The Hermit, the Hermit also represents Virgo, right? So however, however um, you're being influenced right now to really care for yourself in a better way, it comes from you. It doesn't come from outside sources. It comes from you going within, connecting with yourself, being who it is you truly are and, and, and following your healthcare regimen, we'll say, however that man materializes for you, but following that healthcare regimen from your own sense of guidance being who it is you truly are all right anything else for this sun saturn conjunction this month for leo the page of wands a brand new you okay this is the moment where you can step into the spotlight leo is what i just heard i don't didn't i in your reading for last month which was titled um ahead of the curve didn't I channel something for you about waiting in the wings? I can't remember. I channeled it for someone. I feel like it was you, Leo. But this is what this feels like here. It feels like with the Hermit and the Page of Wands, it feels like you're ready to step into the spotlight in a whole new way, in a brand new way, all right? Seven of Pentacles is the overall energy at the bottom of the deck. You know, this sense of empowerment, Leo, is, is, yes, strongly influenced by the conjunction between the Sun and Pluto that happened in January. But really, what I feel like is really setting, setting you on a really good, strong course here, Leo, is you having experienced what it is you experienced from the past, recognizing that there are certain things you don't want to you don't want to be growing in your garden any longer or you don't want to be involved with any longer because it doesn't provide you with the results that you had desired maybe even the necessary results i'm hearing for some of you uh for some of you you're just plain over it seven of pentacles and you're you're willing to do something different this time whether that is taking physical action in a different way or whether it is you're expressing yourself in a different way, which technically for a lot of us would be being truer to ourselves, right? You're over it. You're done. You're done playing these games. You're done whitewashing yourself. You're done watering yourself down to make it to, so that you're not too strong for anyone. The fuck out of here, man. If you really don't like it, if you don't like how I live, if you don't like how I carry myself, if you don't like how I express myself, you can go somewhere else. There are plenty of places for people to go in the world. There are plenty of people for you to be friends with. There are plenty of fish out in the sea. There are plenty of dates that you could, like, you don't have to water yourself, dumb yourself down for somebody else just to be acceptable to them. Don't dim your shine, Leo. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Anything else for Leo for this, just to wrap this up, or at least this message here. Anything else for Leo? No, I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's one more. Knight of Cups. Beautiful. Okay, first of all, I do feel like you are moving forward with a greater sense of heart chakra healing, for sure. Moving forward with your heart's desires. But also, for some of you, this Knight of Cups feels like a potential soulmate, a potential partner coming forward for you. I heard, I just heard meeting you halfway, which is beautiful. And I, 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 really feel like leo you know what i haven't done this for anybody else but i'm feeling inspired let's get a love message but um i just feel the more that you express yourself and you are true to who it is you truly are the 
the greater the relationships you're going to attract into your life. And Leo, I feel like it's because you are being honest. You are truly allowing yourself to be who it is you truly are at this time. You're being authentic, you're being sincere, like all that kind of stuff. It's really making you very attractive. So there could be a ton of, I mean, potential partners coming forward for you. I do feel like it's one specific though, but who knows? This is a general reading, right? Um, let's see, what is this? What do we have for this Knight of Cups here? What is this Knight of Cups energy for Leo? This potential partner that's coming through. Palm tree. Hmm. What's this Knight of Cups energy for Leo? Okay. <clears throat> so what really could be bringing a potential partner in for you is the fact that you are really stable. You're stable within yourself. You're secure. You're bent, you're movable. You know, you're a solid structure. You have palm tree here. Okay. So you're kind of, I mean, you're rooted. Yes but you're not so rigid that you can't bend with the wind, right? Flexibility, all right? Um, but you're in palm tree, you're in this really stable energy. You also have that with addiction, okay? Codependent, obsession, possession, blah, 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 controlling, but you're not having that. Not today is at the root of, is at the bottom of the deck. You're not engaging with any sort of addictive energies, any sort of codependent energies. You don't really have the time for that. You don't have the patience for that. You don't need, you don't need that. You're good. You're solid. You don't need that. And that's really what's helping bring a really beneficial partner into your life. Really beneficial, beautiful partnership. Yeah. Two of pentacles is the overall energy at the bottom of the deck. You're stable. You're grounded. You're secure. This is really, really excellent for you, Leo. I love it. All right. Uh, let me close out this part of the reading here. I'm going to get you some oracle guidance from the magic of the unicorn oracle. Yeah. Five shuffles here. One. Two. For my Leo risings, this is three. Four. What closing oracle guidance do we have for Leo, please, for the month of February? Aha! Uh -huh. Awesome. Card number 12 is the overall energy, the freedom of truth. Communicate honestly. Be who you truly are. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you're doing here, Leo. And because of that, you have card number five, which has come out here, which to me also speaks to all, all the fifth house, fifth house energy that's going on for you right now. But because you are, you are communicating honestly, you're being who you truly are, you have new opportunities coming. The birth, the birth of something, the masculine and the feminine, Mars and Venus coming together in your fifth house, the house of creativity, the house of, ch of children, okay? It is also a house of change because, you know, it's a number five, but, um, you know, children, your inner child, whatnot, whatever, the masculine, the feminine coming together, giving birth to something, you have new opportunities here. Declutter your life, glimpse a magical doorway. So for some of you, you may really wanna focus on decluttering. If you've been feeling the urge to like clean house, do a little bit of like spring cleaning for lack of a better term, do it, do it because that's making energetic space for the new to come in, for you to take advantage of the new opportunities that are being made available to you at this time, yeah? And then finally, you have card number 10, access your gifts, explore your treasure chest, accept who you truly are. There it is again, Leo, all right, full, on expression, full on ex acceptance of who, the truth of who you really are and not, not only not being ashamed of it, but feeling empowered within it. That is bringing you 
the new opportunities here, Leo. And I freaking love it for you. Okay, I'm going to pause. I'm going to re regroup, collect myself, and then we're going to get into the second half of this reading. Yeah? Stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. Hey there. All right. So welcome to the second half of this reading. If you have skipped the first and just wanted to come back to this non-denominational side, hello. Welcome to February. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is the non-denominational side of this reading. So regardless as to whichever form of astrology you practice or are most familiar with, that does not matter. We are just going to get a big old energetic card pull, energy pull for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or whatever you have placed in Leo that you're curious about. Just a big old collective message. Yes? Excellent. Also, keep in mind that we could be talking to a cross watcher here, but it's a general reading, so just take it as it resonates. Okay, cool. Let's get into this, Leo. We'll start with the tarot. We're going to give this five shuffles here. One. For my Leos, what messages do we have for Leo? For the month of February, please, Spirit, this is two. This is three. For Leo. Leo for February, this is four. And this is five. All right, Leo. What messages do we have for you? What's going on for you, Leo? This month of February. Interesting. Someone may be watching you, Leo. Um, there's a strong sense of empowerment that's happening for you, that, that has happened for you. I feel like it really kicked off in January during that uh, Sun-Pluto conjunction. Um, but there's a strong level of empowerment, and that could really be... Well, first of all, you are, it feels like you're in an energy of really trying, really allowing yourself to express yourself fully and not being ashamed of it, you know, fully, completely, 100% accepting who you are, what it is you stand for, how it is you live your life, how it is you express yourself, whatnot, whatever, not being ashamed of that at all. And someone is coming towards you because of it or at least someone will be coming towards you eventually given the proper circumstances. But I really do feel like all eyes may be on you right now, Leo. You do have the Page of Swords here. And with that, you have the Ten of Cups. I feel like, honestly, Leo, uh, and those of you that know me, you know I don't necessarily focus on love specifically on this channel. I have a completely other channel, different channel for that, uh, which is Mystic Unicorn, by the way. Link can be found in the description box below. But I I'm going to be 100% honest with you, Leo, and I'm just going to call it like I see it, like I feel it. I feel like someone is watching you, potentially wanting to marry you, wanting to start a family with you may even be recognizing that you are their 10 of cups. I literally heard you are, for some of and whomever this resonates for, I literally just heard you are the love of his life. And someone is starting to see that now. With that, however, you do have the wheel of fortune, the king of swords and death, but they're all in reverse. And I'm having a little trouble deciphering this right now. However, what it feels like here is this is the person that's watching you. So it, it, in some ways, it feels like they're blocked, but you haven't blocked them. And I guess I kind of want to say the universe may have blocked this person a little bit, but it's not like they've been blocked because they've done something wrong. I feel like they're just, this is them standing on the outside looking in, waiting for the moment to shift, to change. The reversal here doesn't necessarily feel like there's a blockage or a bad thing. It feels like it's this is the potential. 
It just hasn't happened yet. Wheel of Fortune, the King of Swords, and Death. And then overall energy for you, Leo, here at this moment is the Knight of Cups with the King of Wands underneath that and the Star and Strength. So the King of Wands and Strength actually would, would represent you, Leo, and then the King of Cups underneath that. What I'm getting with all of this, Leo, here, First of all, first card of the overall energy for you is the Knight of Cups. I feel like this is how you're moving forward with the truth of your being, true authenticity in your hands, your heart in your hands. You're moving forward with how your heart is guiding you. And I get this very strong feeling, Leo, that as you do that, more and more people will start to take notice of you, will start to be more attractive to you. Your sense of authenticity is beautiful. Is, it makes you very attractive, okay? This King of Wands is also you moving forward completely as you see fit, not allowing anybody to tell you what you can or cannot do. And, 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 and you're just moving forward with towards your dreams, the star to the strength to the King of Cups. I feel like this is all you, Leo, okay? But I also feel like this is a potential partner. This is something like, as you move forward with this Knight of Cups energy, it influ influences them to move forward with the, a certain nine of, Knight, excuse me, Knight of Cups energy. And with, and I'm looking at this King of Cups here and it feels like this person or somebody here will be starting to recognize that they do in fact have feelings for you and wanna move fo oh my God, wanna move forward together. Look at this, the Three of Wands and underneath the Three of Wands is the Lovers. Uh, potential partner blast off point is what I just heard. So by, okay. So um, the masculine and the feminine in, in Venus and Mars come together this month, right around Valentine's day. Um, and that's significant. Yes. But also there's another significant point in March. We have the conjunction between Mars, Venus and Pluto. And that, as I've been narrating it, as I've been channeling it, that is our true blast off point. That's what we've been gearing up for, right? That's why, you know, January was initiate launch sequence. February is, now these are the big collective readings. February is uh, initiate the countdown sequence. March is blast off. And that's the sun, I'm sorry, the Mars Venus conjunction with Pluto. And what I just heard was blast off point. You may receive this reality of a new relationship by the time we hit that blast off point, which is March 3rd. And I feel like this person here is kind of waiting in the wings. King of Swords, Death, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, big transformation that could happen in terms of this. Let's see, okay, what, what is this energy here? Death, King of Swords, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. What else can you say to us about this for Leo? There you go, Leo, more of your energy. So what came out to clarify death, king of swords, wheel of fortune, all in reverse, the sun, that's you. What I just heard though, Leo, is you are the sun to them. There is a really bright, beautiful opportunity waiting in the wings here. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the three of pentacles. This is someone that wants to work together with you, recognizes or sees how they can work together with you. There is a really beautiful relationship coming for somebody here, okay? Keep your eyes open for it, but really, Leo, all you have to do is continue to be yourself because that's what's drawing this person in anyway. Your lack of authenticity in the past is what I just heard, has been keeping this energy away from you, but now that you're accepting yourself and being who it, who it is you truly are, now this energy is allowed to come in because you're in energetic alignment with it, okay? Beautiful, Leo. Um, I want to actually switch gears 
and use a different deck. I want to get to the energy oracle deck and see what other messages we have for you, yeah, Leo? Excellent. So, five shuffles. One. What messages do we have for Leo for February of 2022? This is two. For my Leos. Three. Excuse me, four. And five. All right, messages for Leo for February 2022. What's going on? What messages do we have for Leo, please, Spirit? February 2022. Angel of Balance. What's going on for Leo? What messages do we have for Leo? That one. Yeah. Oh boy. Overall energy is man holding a heart. Like, okay, you guys, I'm gonna be straight up and honest with you. I mean, yes, I was feeling like using this deck for you anyway. Um, and I haven't, it, it, it's kind of out of the ordinary. I don't think I used this deck for any of the other February readings, but I, I was feeling called to it for you, okay? But also I was kind of trying to get away from the love message that came out from the Tarot. So I was like, all right, cool. Let me, let me just switch decks and see what other messages we can get. But I keep hearing this, you are the love of his life. I don't know who this person is. Some of you have not met this person yet, but you will. The more authentic you allow yourself to be, the stronger or the faster or whatever will allow that individual to come into your life. But also, Leo, this could be you. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Man holding a heart. There is a, because this is the masculine. This is masculine energy here. Masculine energy is active, takes action. And I feel like you, Leo, at this time are really taking action from a place of understanding who it is you truly are and literally holding your heart, allowing your heart to guide you. That's where you're taking this action from. And that is what's ultimately, yeah, look at this. That's what's ultimately allowing you to step through a doorway of personal healing and happiness. And then underneath that, this is all at the bottom of the deck here. Underneath that is fifth chakra. And your fifth chakra is your voice. That's a realm, that is, that is one of the major centers of personal expression, okay? The more you, pers you, ex you express your authenticity, the greater your ability to heal and your ability to access, access personal abundance is, okay? Now what's come out on the table here for you is Angel of Balance and Rest and Rejuvenation. So, um, Angel of Balance is, is like kind of like the Temperance card in the Tarot. Rest and Rejuvenation is kind of like the Four of Swords. I feel like, Leo, February is going to be a very restful, very healing month for you. I get this feeling like you're just going to flow easily through things because you're flowing easily through with yourself. Um, but there is a sense of peace a greater sense of peace that I feel you'll have access to this month because of the fact that you are in a balanced state. Okay. Let's get a, a, any, any more, any more you have for Leo at this time? For February? Oh goodness. Anything else you wanna say for Leo this month? I really feel like this is going to be a beautiful month for you. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, but look, Leo, you see what else has come out here? You, the sun again. Shining, shining your light, expressing yourself, expressing who you are. Now at the bottom of the deck, Leo, I, I kid you not, man. This message just keeps coming forward. This person keeps coming into your situation here. Spirit really wants us to talk about it. He wants to be talked about. Okay. All tied up is overall energy. Underneath that is angel of love, the thinking man, storm warning, and then the thinking woman, and then community. Someone is all up in their feels about you. 
or maybe you maybe it's the other way around maybe you're all up in your feels about them Uh, but you have all tied up here with Angel of Love and the Thinking Man. Um, there might be whomever this person is that could be coming towards you right now. They may be in the way of thinking about a connection with you and working on how they can release themselves from certain, well, from certain ways of how they're tied up whether that be to commitments to others or to a certain belief system, whatnot, whatever. Okay, you do have storm warning under that and then the thinking woman. Something may have happened with this person already or some, maybe something will happen with this person. But I feel like if there is, if there has been something that's popped off or there will be something that'll pop off between you and this person, I feel like it's actually going to be extremely healing. And it's going to clear up a lot of the all tied up energy here. It may have something to do with a community of people, a certain um, communi communal alignment, three of cups type energy. You do have community here, but then underneath that you have the world. I feel like there's some sort of communal energy, even if this doesn't have to do with love. Maybe if this thinking man and thinking woman here are just you, just your energies, the masculine and the feminine having come together and are working in tandem, um to clear up some sort of energy okay storm warning here that that storm is cleansing right um there is some sort of community alignment that i think is being put to rest here for the for the best for the betterment of yourself uh okay and then underneath yeah you have strength and then woman holding a heart counterparts are showing up here whether it's just the masculine and the feminine within you, or it's you aligning with a counterpart in the physical. But if you are aligning with a counterpart in the physical, it's because you have that alignment within yourself first. Um, now, so there could be some sort of communal alignment that you are releasing, or maybe that your person is releasing, okay? So with all of that said, Leo, I really just wanna continue to encourage you to express yourself, to be truly who it is you are, okay? Because that's what's bringing this divine alignment together for you. And that's beautiful. Okay, um, I'm gonna leave it there. That seems to be the right messages for you for right now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this reading out with Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. Yes? Cool. Five shuffles for you, Leo. This is one. This is two. This is three. Four. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Leos. Try that again. Four. Oh! Take this one. Okay. Huh. And five. So the first card that came out for you, Leo, is card number 14, which boils down to a five, fifth house, right? Okay, and I talked all about that in the first half of the reading, so go back and check that out. But you have beautiful uncaging. And look at that, look at that heart being, literally being uncaged. Full on expression, completely expressing yourself, Leo. Not giving a damn what anyone else has to say or what they think about it. Because quite frankly, if they don't like it, they can just kick rocks. I mean, it's really that simple, right? If you love yourself enough to be empowered in who, in who it is you are, you don't need someone else's approval to go about your business or to do whatever it is you do. And that's where you are. I really feel like that's where you are right now, or at least that's where you're getting to. And that's really beautiful. And that's allowing you to move forward with what your heart wants, letting your heart lead the way because you're no longer afraid of what others might think. Fuck them and what they think, right? Anything else for Leo? Closing Oracle guidance for my Leos here. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Anything else? That's enough right there, okay. Overall energy now is feeling the world. 
For you specifically, Leo, this feels like you are feeling the world and your natural place in it. I feel like what's helping you be empowered in this moment to really express yourself in the fullest, most authentic way is because you have an intrinsic understanding that you are meant to be here for this reason. You were given this ability for these reasons. You are meant to express yourself in a certain way and you do in fact have a place here as that individual, not as the cookie cutter boxed in one size fits all plain Jane, same person that everyone else is. No, you have a place in this world as your true authentic self. And that's really who the universe wants us to be at all times anyway. Okay. Now you do have, yes. Oh my God. Look at this. First, the next card that's come out here for you is card number 21, exposed and revealed. This is a good thing. This is where your empowerment is coming from this month. All right. With that, you have card number 19, waking the lion. There you are, Leo. There you are, Leo. And then finally, you have card number 25, birds of a feather. Birds of a feather flock together. The more you are authentic, the more true you are to yourself, you will find those birds of a feather. Now, this is definitely giving me vibes that you may be losing some people. There may be some people that are falling off the bandwagon, but to be quite honest with you, Leo, as I'm feeling through this for you, I don't think you care. Actually, I think you're like, yeah, get rid of that. Good riddance. Goodbye. Never wanted you around here anyway. I never really liked you anyway. No shade. Not trying to be an asshole. Not trying to like, you know, hurt anybody. But at the same time, it feels like there's a sense of relief in terms of anybody that does not vibe with you falling away, falling to the wayside. Good riddance. Why? Because that is creating space for the real birds of a feather to really come in. And this all happens because you are authentic, because you are being true to yourself, because you are aligning with or lining up with the natural energy that is you, which is naturally going to bring you, attract to you those who vibe with you, those people who vibe with you, those situations who, that vibe with you, the jobs, whatever, the business opportunities that vibe with you. That's beautiful. So keep it up. Yes? Excellent. I am going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in, Leo. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you guys would like a personal re reading with me, I am available for that. Check out the description box below. Email me. You'll find my email there. I would be very happy to set up either a sidereal reading or a tarot reading or both. Yes. Also, if you would like some extra content with me throughout the month, if you don't want to miss any of my uploads, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Lots of great stuff there. I highly encourage you to join the family. Yes. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so. With that said, I hope you have a fantastic month, Leo. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of March. Yes. Beauty must. Take care. Bye. Hehehehe. <laughs>